This is a world heading for great crisis, not just human crisis, but ecological crisis around displacement and abuse of water. So we who happen to live in areas that have water, that we're, we're, who are blessed to live in an area like this, I would argue have a very, very special responsibility. We have so many threats. We have climate change. We know that the amount of ice on our lakes has decreased by about 70% over the last three decades, so that the lakes are evaporating. We have massive pollution that continue to dump into these lakes, 204 toxic pollutants in the lakes untreated sewage or semi-treated sewage runoff right around the lakes. Bunker oil spills, nuclear waste from over 30 nuclear reactors on the shores, massive chemical contaminants from agribusiness, and we have 43 what they call areas of concern. These are areas that are so toxic and polluted they're dangerous to people and other species as well. Just uh, last year, the uh, Department of Agriculture in the United States said that the Ogallala Aquifer, that huge aquifer down the western spine of the United States, which provides most of the water for most of the food for, for Americans, and was the issue around the Keystone Pipeline and why they didn't want it to go through over the Keystone Pipeline through Nebraska. Department of Agriculture in the U.S. says that aquifer will be gone in our lifetime. It's not a case of if, it's a case of how we do that. How did it come to this? If we have had all these water quality agreements and, and all these wonderful uh, groups taking, doing all this work together around the lakes, how has it come to this? Here's the problem as I see it. I think that the bigger issue is that there are dueling visions of what the Great Lakes are about. Some would see the Great Lakes as a precious watershed that gives life and livelihood to the millions of people who live on them around them. Others see the Great Lakes as a great big dollar sign, the industrial engine of North America, our resource to do what, what we want. It's, the, it's there for our convenience, our profit, and our pleasure. This is the most anti-environmental government we have ever had in this country, and we must stand up and we must say, no, you cannot do this to our water and our air and our land. We will not let you do this. We have to do this.